I went on a 10-day backpack hunt for doll sheep in the Alaska range. We didn't see any other people the entire time we were gone. Here's the crew heading out in the bush plain. And here we are. It's me, Mackenzie, and Mackenzie. Since both the outfitter and the lead guide were named Mackenzie, we called him Mac. We immediately started climbing up this mountain after leaving the airstrip that you can see below. And this shows you how steep it was. But we wanted to see into this basin on the other side. What you can't see is that the winds picked up to the point where we could not even walk. It was at least 60 mile an hour winds. We had to lock arm in arm to get in the lee of the mountain and set up camp here. The next morning was beautiful, although still a bit windy. And so we headed down into the valley to set up a base camp for the week. While we were on the way, of course, we had to stop and glass and look for sheep in the mountain range that we are going to be hunting in. This shows where we were going to be, and this was the drainage uh, where we set up camp. Just to make sure that we had uh, more weather, we had four inches of snow during that night. Looking for white sheep in fresh snow is not fun. But as you can see here, it's already starting to melt off pretty well. And uh, Mac and Mackenzie went up to do some glassing. Okay. Down below there somewhere is camp. Woke up this morning to four inches of fresh snow. Of course you expect snow in August. Maybe not. That's where we came over yesterday. Came down into this valley. This was planned to be a uh, weather day. Conditions called for heavy rain. Well, that rain was uh, snow as it turns out. But here we are. Now, this, now we're starting to get over into sheep country. And uh, below the peak there, you can see Mackenzie and Mac. I'm going to be doing some glassing up there, looking at this drainage where, where we're camped. And uh, there's another drainage off this direction, obviously a lot more mountains over this way. And we planned to go over there next if this doesn't work out here. I saw some sheep there through the spotting scope the other day. So um, we'll see what we we see. But here's the valley where we camped. Quite the sight today. This is all totally covered with snow this morning. A lot of it's already melted off. The trees are just covered with snow. But uh, yeah, here we go. And down below there is camp again. So indeed, we started off for the drainage off to the west the next morning. And here's Mackenzie with the drainage near our camp. And saw several moose on the way. One of those is a really nice sized moose. And then this is the drainage that we decided to hike up. And of course, going to be glassing a whole bunch while you're hiking up. In the middle of nowhere, what do you expect to see but a miner's cabin? Why not? Looking back down the way we came. Okay, we hiked into this other drainage this morning. Down below there is where we left a spike camp. And then we back backed up here. And this is definitely sheep country. With the uh, snow that we got two nights ago, it's a little hard to see white sheep. But the other thing is that we can see many tracks. 
birds we see, you know, they're really fresh. Because the snow was just two nights ago. There's more to the scenery than just mountains, of course. You got flowers and moose tracks, lots of moose tracks in this area. And Mackenzie also found this ram's set of ram's horns um, that uh, looked like it was a winter kill of some sort. And here's our spike camp. We left the tents back at the main camp and slept under the tarp. Went back up into that same drainage again a second day because we had seen sheep like you see right there. And one of them looked really good. And so Mac was uh, doing a lot of spotting with a scope. Yes, this is what sheep tracks look like. There really are sheep there. And here's a couple more views of the sheep up in the mountains and nicely skylined there too. So we waited up here for quite a while trying to find the sheep. That's the direction we started from down there. Camp is down out of the lower river area down on the left. The camp appeared on this drainage. Saw a good ram on the hill that we're on right now. Don't know where they went. It turns out the ram went the only direction we couldn't see him. He went down across the valley over to the other side. And while he looked like a legal ram in the previous picture, uh, that was from down below and he really wasn't. So back to spike camp we went and uh, prepared to move on. And yes, there are grizzly bears in this area as well as caribou. These little flowers were all over. So here you can see just how rugged some of the area that we were hiking on was. And this little ermine came by to investigate us while we were glassing at one point. Really very curious about us, came in very close to us. Uh, as you can see in this next photo, he got really close. And uh, it was a lot of fun to, uh, to watch him. I also had this bee come and land right next to me. The next day we headed up the next drainage and we saw this owl just sitting there. Despite the awkward looking pose, he was fine and flew away a little while later. The next morning we headed up the drainage near our base camp and saw yet more flowers, of course, and need to get some close-up view of Alaska, not just the distant view. Lots of beautiful things to see while we're out here. Flowers of many different colors. But, of course, we were here to climb up. You're always climbing up when you're sheep hunting out here. Okay, we climbed up this valley this morning. Yeah, we were down there and beyond. We got 360 degree view from up here. Just breathtaking. I have that recorded on video. We 
saw some sheep up here, but nothing legal. So headed back down the next day. Here we are up on top. Thanks to the snow and cold weather, some of this tundra was already starting to change color. This was all green just a day or two before. So we decided to pack up our base camp, head up this canyon and see that we're not the only hunters around. That's a human footprint, upper left, and then the a grizzly bear print, footprint. And there are wolves in the area also. So we headed up the creek, saw this really nice moose shed. Not huge, but it's nice. This shows how the tundra mat stays together even when it gets eroded away by the stream bed. And this shows a big coal seam. Lots of coal in this area. Here are some more flowers showing they have a tough life. So we went up this other drainage and saw more sheep. While Mac was looking off to the right, I saw some sheep on the skyline off to the left. I got Mac's attention. He put the spotting scope on them and said, yeah, those are rams. All three of them are rams. And here's what they look like through the spotting scope. The one in the middle was a maybe. So the next morning we packed up camp and started to head out to go around behind them to see what we could find. When we got to the top of the ridge off to the left in this photo, we came across a band of seven rams. And in the seven rams were two shooters. So we quickly transitioned to hunting that group. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. 
Congratulations. <laughs> shot your doll sheep. <laughs> Three's the charm. Third time's the charm. Hey, we made it My third sheep hunt. Now I have a sheep down. <laughs> now thank, that... you, thank you, Mackenzie Mitchell. <laughs> hey, and Mac Wilson, huh? <laughs> and, uh, and Mackenzie Wilson. Wilson. Congratulations Bog to us all here, man. Congratulations. Thank you. So of course we took a bazillion pictures with my ram. You can see really nice full curl on the left especially. The right side is broomed off a bit. I chose this one um, because he was broomed off a little bit. Um, it was older than the other shooter ram. Thanks to Mac and Mackenzie, um, the guide and outfitter, uh, me, Mackenzie, and Mac. Uh, it's a great hunt for 70 miles of backpacking, and then you have to pack it all out. Interestingly enough, on the way out, we passed this herd of caribou. They couldn't figure out what to do. They went running to the right, they went running to the left. They just really didn't know what they were doing. When we got back to the packs, it was definitely time for a little bit of celebration. <laughs> Big smiles all around. Then that night, sheep on the fire. Beautiful sunset, nice fire, fresh meat. Of course, the guide's work is never done. He has to finish doing his caping out. And then the next day, packed on out again. Yeah, long haul back to the, the airstrip. Then we get back there, and then again, the guide and the outfitter both have more work to do. This is looking back to where we had been. We got the sheep uh, to the left of that tall peak in the distance there. And then of course, yeah, we had to pack it out to this location. Then the next day, Get ready for our bush plane flight home. Caribou running off in the distance. 